The Art of Homemaking, Presenting Great Home Decorating Ideas An easy way to give a room a facelift, is to update hardware, such as doorknobs, drawer pulls, and curtain rods. Place shells in baskets, on a low table, or show them off, in glass canisters. Storing your needlework, or mending, in a pretty basket under a side table, or in the foyer, keeps it tidy and looks decorative too. A basket full of pine cones, in front of the fireplace, gives a room a feeling of friendliness. In the fall, buy gourds at the supermarket. Use them for a month or so, in an arrangement, and then put them somewhere warm, and dry for a while. The gourds become very light as they dry, and the colors mute beautifully with age. Add a miniature hammock, to a corner in a child's room, to make a place for all his or her, stuffed animals. Keep your decorative baskets, looking healthy, by placing them away from dry heat. A non-working fireplace, primed and freshened with paint, makes a comfortable niche for a sewing machine table, or an aquarium. A stairway landing, is the perfect place, for an armoire. Line it with attractive fabric and fill it with linens, coats, or out-of-season clothes. Display flowers in unusual vases, a crystal ice bucket, a fluted champagne glass, a bright coffee mug or jug. Flowers, in fact, look good in almost any container. Turn your bathroom into a miniature gallery, with pictures you don't have space for elsewhere, so long as they aren't works that can be damaged by the humidity, that collects in a bathroom. If you don't want to buy furniture, you can rent it at surprisingly reasonable rates. Furniture for rent, includes everything from sofas and carpets, to lamps and works of art. A silver goblet is perfect, for holding candies on a coffee table. To keep drying flowers dust free, cover them with plastic bags punched with air holes. When the flowers have dried, spray them with hairspray. This will serve several purposes, the hairspray will give the flowers a clear matte finish, keep them from shedding, keep insects away, and protect them from moisture. When drying flowers or vegetables, most have to be hung upside down, in small bundles in a dark, dry place, for a few weeks. Try hanging branches by strings of different lengths, from coat hangers. This allows for good air circulation. Some flowers and foliage can be placed in a vase without water and dried upright. Among them are pussy willows, wild grasses, and grains and flowers with large composite heads and sturdy stalks for example, Queen Anne's lace and coxcomb. Layer seeds and nuts, in attractive apothecary bottles. A branch, cut from any blossoming tree or bush, makes an unusual centerpiece, on a dining or coffee table. Glue corn pads, or pieces of felt, to the rough bottoms of vases, and art objects, to keep them from scratching tables. Replace a drab string cord, or light bulb chain, with a piece of satin piping or silver cord. Thread a bright ceramic bead, at the end of the cord, for a finishing touch. Use leftover dining room wallpaper, to make matching place mats. Paste the paper onto sturdy cardboard, trim the edges neatly, 
and coat each mat with a plastic spray. A handy deodorizer for waste baskets. Place a sheet of fabric softener in the bottom of each. You can make unusual centerpieces in no time by floating flowers in clear glass dessert dishes. Fill the dishes halfway with water, cut the stems from the flowers, and place them in the dishes. Dollar store bandanas make pretty, inexpensive pillow covers. Buy assorted colors for a striking effect. These bandanas also make wonderful table napkins, especially for a picnic or a barbecue. Hot peppers threaded on long string make a beautiful kitchen decoration while drying. Garlic and onions also look attractive, braided and hung on display. Old carved doorknobs attached to each end of a dowel make an attractive curtain rod. Paint or stain the knobs to match your furniture. A basket of Italian onions makes a striking centerpiece when serving an Italian dinner. Pomegranates are also beautiful in bowls. A ceramic tile or tiles make a decorative hot pad for the table or kitchen counter. Use old pantyhose to stuff pillows and toys. There's no need to invest in wallpaper to give your walls new life. A super graphic on the wall can make a room exciting. Or, if you have artistic ability or just ambition, design and paint your own mural. An old kimono can be draped on a wall for an elegant splash of texture and color. Any combination of fruits in a bowl can double as both centerpiece and dessert. Solve a bicycle storage problem. A bicycle hanging on a wall becomes a piece of art as well as a means of transportation. A high-tech look for a teenager's room, perhaps? An old dining table found at a flea market can make a great sofa height coffee table. Just cut the legs to the height you need. Change the look of an old formica table by laminating the surface with colorful fabric. If you're serving messy finger food fried chicken or ribs, for instance, provide finger bowls. Float lemon slices in small glass dishes so that guests can rinse their fingers. Since finger bowls are an old-fashioned elegance, and seldom seen these days, be ready to enlighten anyone who assumes that you're serving a rather odd sort of cold lemon soup. You can make cheap floor rugs by stenciling canvas with non-toxic acrylic paints. Make an extra closet into a book nook for quiet reading. Remove the door and install a wall lamp, shelves, and a comfortable chair. Place an unwrapped bar of soap in a drawer or linen closet to give lingerie and linens a pleasant scent. You can make inexpensive bookcases out of flue tiles or conduit pipes. The cubby holes are perfect for storing wine.